everyone, in this video we will be evaluating functions. So let's have an example here. We're given this function f of x is equal to 3x squared plus 5x minus 1. So we are supposed to calculate f of 4. So pretty much like we're looking for the uh, value of the function if x is 4. So pretty much I will write the equation, I mean the, uh, the function here first. So that is f of x is equal to 3x squared plus 5x minus 1. And then in this problem here, we're supposed to calculate f of 4. So I'm going to change the x to 4. So that would be f of. Then I will put the 4 right here. So that means in all of these, we are going to put 4 to all of the x's. Now, here's the very important thing. In order that we don't mess up with the negatives when we do the arithmetic in a little bit, I would recommend that you change all the x into a parenthesis first, or you change the variable into a parenthesis before you plug the value of the x into the, the function so that we don't mess up with the negative. So in this case right here, this would be equal to 3. Again, change the variables into a parenthesis, plus 5, then we change it into a parenthesis, minus 1. Now here, since we say that our x is 4, so I will put 4 in all of them. Okay, so then we go ahead and write this as 3. So 4 squared would be 16, so that's a 16 right here, plus 5 times 4 is 20, then minus 1, so 3 times 16 is 48, plus 20 minus 1. So then it means that our f of 4 is equal to 67. So this is our um, f of 4. At this time, I would encourage you to pause this video and try this problem out on your own. And when you're done, and pause it and check your answer. Okay, so we go over the problem here. Again, um, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna rewrite the equation right here. So that would be f of x is equal to 3x squared plus 5x minus 1. And then again, um, when, in order to solve the function, we are supposed to change all the variables into a parenthesis first. So this would be f of, then I put the parenthesis there, is equal to 3 parenthesis squared plus 5 parentheses minus 1. Again, the variables, I change them into a parentheses. And so since we say it's negative 2, so I'm going to write negative 2 and then negative 2 to all of the parentheses. Now, here's the, here's the thing. If you don't write a parentheses, then you would think that it would be a negative 4 because uh, the negative 2 was not inside the parentheses. So that's, that's how important it is to uh, change the variable first into a parenthesis before you plug the value into the e uh, equation so that we don't mess up with the negatives. So in this case right here, we have um, 3, and then we go negative 2 times negative 2 because that's inside the parenthesis. So that would be a positive 4. And then this would be um, 5 times negative 2 is a negative 10. And then we have a minus 1. So this would come out 12 minus 10 minus 1. So our f of negative 2 is 1. Did you get 1 as your answer to this? Good. Perfect. Now let's move on to the next example here. So we are given the function g of x is equal to 7x minus 4. And then we are supposed to solve when the g of x is equal to 31. So I'm just going to write the uh, the uh, uh, equation right here or the function right here. So that is g of x. Um, this the g of x is equal to 7x minus 4. Now look what's going on here. I would explain this so we can um, we can solve for the value here. So we say that the g of x is equal to 31. So both of these yellow, uh, both of these yellow um, strips here are equal to each other. So instead of writing g of x here, since these two yellows are equal, this can go here, g of x. That means I can also have the 31 right there. Since these two are equal, so I can have the g of x there, or I can have the 31 there. Since again, these two are equal. Or pretty much this whole thing, the g of x, 
we can uh, substitute it to the g of x since these two are equal, then this can be 31. So in this case right here, I can change again, I can have the g of x there, or I can have the 31, because again, these two are equal, these yellow strips are equal to each other. So in this case right here, I can change this to 31. So that means this is 31 is equal to 7x minus 4, and then we just have to solve for x. So I'm just going to add 4 to um, both sides, so plus 4 and plus 4. So then we are left with, uh, we cross this out, so that is 7x is equal to 35. We want the x. So we're supposed to be solving this. So divide both sides by 7, divide this by 7. So then our x is 5. Okay, so this is our x value. At this time, I would encourage you to pause this video and try this problem out on your own. And when you're done, and pause it and check your answer. Okay, so we go over the problem here. So it's pretty much the same thing. I can go ahead and uh, rewrite this uh, uh, function right there. So that's the g of x is equal to 7x minus 4. In this uh, problem right here, we have the g of x is equal to 25. Again, these two yellow strips here are equal to each other. So if this is the g of x right there, since the two yellows are equal, I can also put the negative 25 in there since those two are equal. Again, these two are equal. So we can have the g of x right there, or we can have the negative 25 right there. So if we put the negative 25, then we can go ahead and solve this function. So that would be negative uh, 25 is equal to 7x minus 4. So then I'm just going to add 4 from both sides plus 4 here. So this would come out, we cross the uh, negative 4 and 4, so this is 7x is equal to uh, negative 25 plus 4 is negative 21. We want the x, so that would be uh, divide 7 from both sides, divide this by 7, so then we go ahead and cross this out, so our x is negative 3. So this is our g of x, uh, this is the x value when the g of x is equal to negative 25. Did you get the same answer as this? Good, perfect. If you find this video helpful, hit like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya.